Okay, in this video we're checking out the uh, Immersion RC RF Power Meter version 2. Much better than the version 1, which I never actually had a chance to review by the time uh, I was actually looking into getting one of these, uh, looking at the version 1. This was already out and actually took a long time for me to get this, and you've probably seen a lot of reviews on this out there already. Uh, but this is something that's going to be useful uh, in your tool bag just to, you know, see what kind of power up you're getting from your various video transmitters, and you can compare video transmitters to each other with this, which is what I'm going to be using it for for my reviews. Not much that comes with it here. You get the whip antenna, SMA, and this, it's a little SMA antenna here, plus a little adapter so you can plug it in directly to a video transmitter. Uh, it does have a built-in battery, a lithium-ion 10400, I believe. It's pretty small. It's like a AAA sized charges via micro USB here. Uh, it's got a built-in attenuator, which the version 1 had an external attenuator. This one's actually built in up to 30 dB. So it'll measure things up to 1 watt. Uh, just turn easily turn on here. This button, a um, little battery meter right there. Shows your um, output here in decibels. And then also shows you rating in, uh, I guess in this case, microwatts. So microwatts or milliwatts. Shows you what frequency it's, it's tuned to. And this is uh, currently uh, on this frequency. There's actually no signal, so it's like, you know, pretty much dead at 1.9 mil or microwatts. So this is the main mode that it, it defaults into. And then you can go into some of the other modes here by using the little joystick here and go to the right. This is like the oscilloscope mode. And this is actually probably going to be more useful like if you're measuring something in the 2.4 gigahertz control range. I'll show you that here in a second. And then this is this, what's called scully mode. This is where you can uh, set zero or define what zero is. Like for example, if I uh, turn on this little acrid B light and measure the out power up from this. If I want to compare it to some other micro drones or other drones and see what the power up it is, I can use this scully mode to see which one is out of, I guess, um, well, not close to the other one. So if you have two that are identically outputting the same amount of power, then this will, this will when you set to zero, it'll stay in the same range. Otherwise, it'll be off, and you'll know that that one is either outputting too much power or too little power. I'll just do a quick demonstration of this. I'm not actually going to be measuring any actual output here, but uh, when you actually have it turned on, you can bring the antenna here to close to each other. And then, of course, the, what you want to do to the other one is also bring it close to the same location. Then you take the joystick and you press up. Well, that's zero, that defines zero. Let's go ahead and I'll plug that. And here's another one here. So uh, this one here I know is probably uh, outputting uh, around uh, one to five milliwatts. I think it's on a low, low setting right now. And then this one here is going to be it's going to be outputting around 200 milliwatts. It's a TBS Unify. And so then we bring the antenna here close to, you, to this other one. And you can see that where the zero is defined, where the two arrows are, this is outputting way more power than the other one. So then you know that this one, if, if for example, if you're at a race, you know this one is not in compliance and that is outputting more power than the rest of the ones. This is how you can identify the guys that are <laughs> stomping on other people's videos because they, they got a drone that's outputting 10 times more power than the, other, than the rest of the people. Now if you want to actually just see the actual milliwatt reading here, just go back to the main mode and then you can uh, put the antennas next to each other here like this and you can see that even though uh, I'm in, supposed to be broadcasting at 200 milliwatts this is fluctuating here between 150 milliwatts here and as I move it around it's going up to almost 300 milliwatts so yeah it's a pretty wide range. So actually it's probably closer to 300 milliwatts if you get the antennas actually next to each other. So yeah, this one is definitely, which is actually interesting, it's a TBS Unify with smart audio. It's supposed to be uh, transmitting at 200 milliwatts and it looks like it's transmitting way more than 200 milliwatts. Alright, so I'm going to bring another drone in here. This one is also supposed to be transmitting at 200 milliwatts, but it's a off, off name brand. I don't know what it is. It's uh, from the Hobby Mate. Comet drone and it's got a lollipop and antenna here so they're linear. But we should get an idea of how much power this is also outputting. Okay, so I think this is going to be one of the limitations here when you're using a linear antenna and a circular polarized antenna. 
See, it's supposed to be transmitting at 200 milliwatts and it's actually transmitting at, well, this meter showing it's transmitting at 6 milliwatts, which can't be correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to connect, connect up the uh, meter directly to the SMA uh, connection without the antennas in, in the way. Okay, so now you can see I've got the adapter here. I've got the meter directly connected to the SMA adapter. And now we're reading uh, 150 milliwatts. It's supposed to be transmitting at about 200 milliwatts. So this one does seem to be lower than it should be. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to measure the 2.4 gigahertz band. For example, like a, this is a FreeSky radio, FreeSky compatible radio here. The jumper T12. And so you just go into the, this uh, settings changes here. And we'll select the megahertz, and we want to go down to, oops, 2.4. And the mode here, we have to change to peak. And then we should be able to get out of here. And now, okay, so now we have the meter directly connected to the, uh, no antenna in the way. It's, it's reading significantly higher. It's reading at 63 milliwatts now, which is, I don't know if that's, if that's even accurate either, because I, I think it's supposed to be transmitting at 100 milliwatts, but you know, this, um, the, the transmission power on this one might be lower than expected as well, or the, um, the calibration on this meter is lower than it should be. Anyway, it's going to do it for this review of the Immersion RC Power Meter version 2. Um, yeah, I mean, not exactly sure how useful this is going to be. I'm going to use it in future videos on VTX reviews mostly. So yeah, you'll see this in future videos, but if you have any comments or questions about this, let me know in the uh, section down below, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.